the easiest way to make better beer is to take control of your fermentation temperatures. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to build a fermentation chamber to do just that. When shopping for beer yeast, you'll often find a temperature range printed on the packaging. This represents the optimal fermentation temperature range for that particular type of yeast, and that temperature range will not only fluctuate between ale yeast and lager yeast, but also between individual strains of yeast. Now, typically, the lower end of this range will lead to a slower fermentation and cleaner flavors, and the higher end of the range will lead to a faster fermentation and more expressive flavors. The ambient temperatures around your house may well fall into one of those optimal ranges for a few yeast strains, but sooner or later, this limitation will feel like it's holding you back. And that's when it's time for a fermentation chamber. The first thing you need to source is a fridge or a freezer. You can find plenty of options on sites like Craigslist and Facebook Marketplace for around $100, but make sure you pick the right one. We're looking for a sturdy, flat surface on the bottom to fit the fermenter and plenty of room up top so you can still add yeast and hops to the fermenter. Make sure you take a bunch of measurements and ask the seller to measure the refrigerator if they haven't already and if it's gonna be close, I would just bring that fermenter with you to make sure it fits. When in doubt, go for a bigger fridge. And while you're there, definitely plug it in and listen to make sure the compressor still kicks on, otherwise it's useless. If you have the choice, I'd choose a refrigerator over a freezer, but a freezer will definitely work if you have one sitting around. And if you care more about how it looks than how much it costs, i definitely go with a glass front fridge like this one that was sent to me by New Air. Once you've got the fridge, you can start sourcing the rest of the parts. You'll need a temperature controller with both a heating and cooling outlet, a heating pad which are sometimes sold as seedling heating pads, and some tape. I like to use this blue painter's tape. And if you want to go all out, I'd also recommend either a thermo well that fits your fermenter or a large container of water to hold the temperature probe and some kind of insulation to wrap around your fermenter. Once you've sourced all the parts, it's time to assemble your fermentation chamber. Start by preparing your refrigerator. You'll need to remove all the shelves and anything else from inside the refrigerator. If yours has a freezer shelf, you may be able to mount it vertically in the back of the refrigerator, but be careful not to bend it and definitely don't fully disconnect it. Now, I'll place the fermenter and a large container of water inside the refrigerator. I'll put the temperature probe from the controller inside this container of water. As the fridge cools down, the temperature of your beer will lag slightly behind, and this mass of water will help simulate the beer temperature. Of course, if your fermenter has a thermo well, you will place the temperature probe within the fermenter. Now I can plug the fridge into the cooling side of the temperature controller. If the fermentation temperature rises above the high set point on your controller, the fridge will automatically turn on and cool until it reaches the low set point, and then it will turn off, and if you're using a heating mat, it will turn on and the cycle will continue. I like to allow mine to rise 2 degrees above the high point and 2 degrees below the low point so the fridge isn't constantly cycling on and off, which could potentially damage the fridge. Now I'll tape all the wires in place. If you're using a heat mat to raise the temperature of your fermentations, place it on the back wall of the fridge and use the same tape to tape it in place. And finally, I can test to make sure the door still forms a good seal and I'm ready to ferment. Big thanks to New Air for sending this fridge and supporting homebrewing. My name's Dan, this is Hops and Gnarly. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I'll see you again soon. Mm -hmm.